What is up, my Nimians, and welcome back to Nim TV. I'm your host, Nim, and we're back with another movie review. This time, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Christopher Robin, which is a movie that just recently uh, came out this past weekend, I think it was, or whenever it was. Uh, anyways, this is a movie um, following adult, the adult version of Christopher Robin. If you don't know who Christopher Robin is, he's the boy who was in the classic Pooh Bear cartoons who was like, you know, the young child who played with all the animals and stuff and he was like their best friend and everything, Pooh Bear's best friend. Um, and as far as I could tell based on the originals, it seemed like it was all like his imagination and all the stories with them was his imagination and everything. But um, this movie takes a bit of a different approach, like the animals actually exist in the Hundred Acre Wood, like, but they're not normal animals, like, they still look like the kind of, um, stuffed animal versions of themselves, but they're, they really exist there and can talk and everything, so there's no real explanation of how that works, but, you know, I guess there doesn't need to be, it's just kind of a thing that's there. I mean, we've all seen Pooh Bear, so, you know, we all know what it's like. Anyways. Um, so the basic story of this is Christopher Robin, when he's a child, leaves because he is sent away to boarding school, and then he never ends up returning to the Hundred Acre Wood for a long time. Uh, he goes there, he ends up in the military during World War II, he, you know, gets married, has a daughter, has a normal job that he works hard at, and eventually gets to the point where he doesn't focus on having fun in life and enjoying his family, and he doesn't spend enough time with them, and he's spending too much time at work, and focusing on his career and stuff like that. Um, and then in order to reconnect with his family, he um, reconnects with his old friends in the 100 Acre Wood, and that kind of brings him back to the you know family values and sort of enjoying the simple things in life. Um, something that was a big thing in the original Pooh Bear, you know, a lot of it was about just simple little adventures it's just it, let's just have fun with the little simple things like there was always that game they would play where they would just throw a stick under the bridge or whatever you know uh which is referenced in this movie there's a lot of references to the uh originals a like a lot in here so if you're a diehard fan of Pooh Bear you'll probably enjoy this movie a lot um <laughs> look on your face <laughs> look on your face <laughs> so he runs into Pooh Bear, who happens to uh, show up to where he is because of some weird... There's, there's a lot of things that aren't really explained in this, like he goes through the tree and then it ends up in the city that he's in, which is um, London. He lives in the city of London because this is all, you know, a British thing, uh, all in England. Anyways, so he ends up there, it's some weird magic thing, it doesn't, it's never explained how it works, it's kind of random, I don't, I don't know. But anyways, moving on from that, uh, Pooh Bear shows up to his house and he tries to get him back to the Hundred Acre Wood which happens to be next to a cabin that his wife and his daughter are staying in for the weekend that he was supposed to go to but he didn't go to because he was too busy with work that weekend. So anyways, he goes and meets them up again and you know at the beginning he's all, I have to get back home and get back to work. And then, but then slowly through it, he starts to enjoy being with his old friends again and slowly starts to reconnect with his childhood and eventually, you know, again, like I mentioned earlier, gets him to enjoy, start enjoying the simple things in life uh, and be able to enjoy reconnecting with his family and all that. So that's the, basically the plot of the movie. Um, you know, simple plot. Uh, a lot of people have been comparing this movie to Hook, if you know what that is. That's um, movie about uh, Peter Pan. It's a similar type of story. So like Peter Pan leaves um, Neverland, he grows up, has a family, and then it's about him sort of go eventually going back and reconnecting with it and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's a similar type of thing. So a lot of people have been um, finding a lot of parallels between these two movies. I myself ha did that was the same way after I saw it, that was the first thing I thought of it was hey it's kind of like Hook so yeah how good is this movie it's pretty decent um, I thought it was all right like kids will enjoy it a lot there's a lot of fun stuff for the kids in it but there's a lot of you know nice uh, nice moments for adults too like you know just nice cute little moments of like good 
I don't know, I don't know how to say it, like good heartfelt nostalgia. That's a good way to put it. Um, so you'll probably enjoy it, especially if you did grow up on, you know, watching Pooh Bear a lot when you were a kid. I did myself. Um, you know, I, I assume most people have seen it when they were children anyways. I mean, it's a complete classic, at least like the original ones anyways. So most people will enjoy it. Most people will understand the references that are in it. And interestingly enough, this is something I really liked is, uh, I forget his name, but the guy who did the original voice of Pooh Bear is in this. I'm surprised the guy is still alive, but um, yeah, the original voice of Pooh Bear, it does the voice of Pooh in this and it works perfectly. Um, now there are some interesting little things I noticed. So the CGI for other characters, obviously they have to be CGI because they're like weird um, stuffed animal, animal creature things. Um, was all right with some of the animals with some of the ones that looked a little weird like there was a couple of weird things about that So like for instance all the animals look similar to very similar to like the versions of themselves in the cartoon Whereas like rabbit looked like a normal rabbit Like he didn't look like the version of himself from the cartoon He just kind of so I just always thought that was a little weird, but I don't know and also, most of the other characters in it are somewhat un underutilized, like Pooh Bear's like the main one, obviously. The other ones are just kind of there for the most part. So it's, you know, whatever. But you get good moments with all of them, so it's... You know, all the characters you know and love from the originals, so... There you go. And, they sing the Tigger song in it, so... You know, everybody loves the Tigger song. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's mostly what I have to say about it. Uh, pretty simple, straightforward storyline. Nice little movie to take your kids to. Um, you'll probably enjoy it yourself again if you liked Pooh Bear when you were a kid. All that stuff. Some good nostalgia there. So, would I recommend this movie? Yeah, take your family, go see it, have a good time. And that's about all I really have to say about that, so thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.